Hello everyone, this is part two of our Colorado vlog. We have officially made it here and we are at the airport. We just got off that gorgeous jet out there. So stunning, great experience. And I vlogged the whole thing for you guys. So it'll be the video before this one. You guys can go ahead and check it out. It was a very fun trip. And now we are to the big part of the trip the Colorado part, where we are going to be doing so many fun things. We have so many trails marked down and different waterfalls that we wanna go see, different lakes. We are just really excited and super prepared this time. Normally we just walk around and try to find stuff, but this time we really, really were prepared in things that we want to do. So it's gonna be a really awesome trip and I am unbelievably excited for it. We are officially here in Mountain Village and this trip, we have such a big group we got two different, guys, I'm falling apart. We got two different places to stay. So we have a house, a full house, which we've never had before, and a condo. And this house is insane. I couldn't wait to show you guys, so I whipped out the camera right away. This kitchen is unreal, and then the stunning living room with the unreal view of the mountains. It's so crazy. <laughs> Our past few trips here, we have walked past this house. I feel like I already sound different because the altitude's kind of getting to me. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> Every time we are here, we actually walk past this house and there's always huge parties here and there's a hot tub downstairs and normally a lot of people are out at night partying and in the hot tub and we always walk by and we're like, dang, that house is crazy. And now we are in it. There is a downstairs with beautiful bedrooms, but I do want to run upstairs really quick to show you guys the master bathroom. It's insane. That window right there, it looks like it's an actual framed picture. So here is the double door entrance and then the barn door entrance into this unreal bathroom. Look how tall the ceilings are. They're like 100 freaking feet tall. Beautiful bathtub, huge shower. And then here's the bedroom with another, you know, huge windows. They knew what they were doing here. They got huge windows to show that epic view out there. So we just wanted to take a quick peek in this house, drop everybody off, and now we're gonna head over to our condo with the Frenchies and get unpacked and settle in. We are in our little condo here. So it's in the same line as what we've stayed in before, and we normally stay in the one on the end, and we stay there every year, but it wasn't available this year, so we had to switch things up, and I'm glad we had to get out of our comfort zone because this place is so stunning. I mean, every single one of them, of course, is gonna be gorgeous, but this is really, really beautiful and totally different from the other place that we normally stay in. We have our New York vlog playing up on the TV. We had the volume on for the girls. By, yeah, by the way, we don't sit here and watch our own videos, <laughs> but we figure maybe the voices are comforting for them, so that's why. Yeah, we like to put on our voices if they're in like a new strange place. But man, you guys, this place is stunning. This fireplace, are you kidding me? We are going to unpack, get everything situated, and then I think we are gonna head down to Telluride, take the gondola, and we are gonna finally get some brown dog pizza. That's our favorite pizza here, and I cannot wait to eat some food. We are all very hungry. So we're on the gondola. It's so far away. Sorry, I can get my I camera out in time. Pop in. But there is a coyote. It's so cool taking the gondola because you see so much wildlife. Guys, look at this rainbow. You can actually find out where the end is. The brightest wow. rainbow I've ever seen. It's like right there. It's super I've intense. never been where the rainbow is. Right. That's so beautiful. And there's two, there's actually two above it. Look at that. Here we are in Telluride. Dang, I just miss it. Rob and Bobby were holding hands. Oh, you have plenty it. more opportunities. For you're right, you're right. Plenty of more opportunities. Oh, okay. We had such an amazing gondola ride. Got to see the coyote, that a crazy rainbow. rainbow. It was unreal. So cool. And now we are at the brown dog pizza. The appetizers are here. Their meatballs are incredible. Look at those mozzarella sticks. Will there be a cheese bowl? Oh, that's no, a cheese pull. Wow, yeah, this is fine. Pizza is here. We have some pepperoni with banana peppers, buffalo chicken, and they add celery on top. It is unreal. Maddie has a hot style pizza. Oh, just gorgeous. Tess is still waiting on her food, so she's eating one of the wings. Oh my god. Green chili. Oh my god, green chili. Oh, yum. Of course, we had to go back to the house and get the girls. Brought them down to Mountain Village. Got some ice cream. There goes Ernie up there. Love in life. Good morning everyone. We are taking a morning walk. Normally Michael and I just take the girls down this trail to go potty but the whole gang is here 
Everybody's drinking their coffee. So we're gonna do Bridalville Falls for a little hike to start off the morning. And then we are gonna do Imogene Pass with everyone. So all the boys have their own trucks and everybody's gonna take up their trucks on Imogene Pass. After Bridal Veil hike, we went home and we had a little bit of lunch and got ready to come up to Imogene Pass. So we are currently starting it. We are almost to the entrance for Imogene Pass. So things are about to get crazy, especially with those dark clouds up there. We've never been up here with sketchy weather. So hopefully everything goes good. But I just wanted to fill you guys in on a little bit of an interesting fact. When you are filming everything and trying to get content of the whole trip, a lot of things actually go wrong. So back there, they're dealing with a little issue. There's a lot of technical difficulties when you have a bunch of different... Really you want to try to do a three-way call on our Bluetooth? Whenever you have a bunch of different elements yeah, in it with a bunch of different technology and stuff. Also, you're dealing with three idiots. And we're dealing with three idiots too, so a lot goes wrong. The super cool thing is, this is one of the sketchiest roads that in we will world. be in all day. In the world, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys just saw that there was a huge lightning bolt there. We are in a thunderstorm right now. It's very loud, the thunder up here. I have to drive the truck on this super scary road. I did it last year for Michael to get a drone shot because he can't fly the drone and drive at the same time. It's actually very, very terrifying because the cliff next to this road is so far down. It's terrifying. Sorry guys, it's gonna be really bumpy and bouncy. We were coming down the other side of Imogene Pass to go out at the bottom of Telluride and we would be home then. Um, and there was a Jeep and he said, you guys gotta stop, the road is washed out, there's a mudslide. And we came around the corner and the road was fully gone. So everyone that we passed today, they didn't experience that. It just happened in front of our eyes. We literally have to turn around and go the whole way back. But yeah, very, very sketchy. We are making our way down, trying to go fast to beat the nighttime. We're gonna take things a little slow this morning compared to yesterday. We're gonna go down to Mountain Village on the gondola to get some coffee and breakfast. But what cooler way to go get your coffee than a gondola? This is so cool. This is free, by the way, you guys. We were shocked the first time we stayed here. So you just take the gondola down to town and then there's really nice coffee shops and little breakfast places to go, it's awesome. It's been a few hours since I last talked to you guys, so do not be alarmed that we have all of this food. We are headed back to Ure today and we're gonna do the wildflower hike. It's one of our favorite hikes, but we're going to take it a step further today and we're gonna go the highest we've ever been up there. So we're gonna try to hit 14,000 feet hiking today, which is gonna be crazy. So we're fueling up with our favorite tots at this gas station down at the bottom oh, yeah. of Mountain Village. And their tater tots are always fire. And then Maddie and I found these awesome drinks. So I got every flavor because I wanna try them. I'm gonna take them home and try them throughout the week. But this is the caramel cold brew, vanilla cold brew, and then matcha green tea. And then they had corn dogs and corn dogs are like my favorite. So these snacks are pretty great. Driver's license, please. Registration and insurance. What's the speed limit on that road you were coming down? Honestly, I have no idea. I just saw you hit the lights and I was like, maybe I was going too fast. So. Well, it's 45. And 45? You were, doing, you were doing 66. Oh, my so bad. That's why you're stopped. I thought that's it was, why you're going to get a citation. Today. Honestly, I thought it was like 50 or 55. And I was, you should look I mean, at those white signs with hill, those big so. black numbers on them. They'll tell yeah, you Yeah, yeah, you know. They're everywhere. Yeah, that's entirely too fast. <laughs> Is it? Like, I'm not the one crashing out here like I have everybody else. Like, I have a truck that well, can... at 66 miles an hour. And I can assure you I won't. Okay. Just take the... All right, here's what I'm going to do slow. for you. Up 66 and a 45 is a huge ticket. Well, again, I'm sorry. Honestly, so I'm, I wasn't I'm trying going to, to I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, 
and you're going to get a lesser ticket, but well, you are you. getting a ticket. That's okay. Because that's just way it. too fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it in the 10 to 19 category and not the 20 over category. Okay. Because it's the difference in a lot of points and a lot of money. I'm Stay in the vehicle. Right. Keep looking for that. I'll be back with you. So real briefly, um, this is what we call a penalty assessment citation. Uh, it's not a summons, so you have the opportunity to pay it if you wish. I got it. Just do me a favor, man. Yeah, I'll try to keep it slow. Well, was not expecting that on the way to the wildflower hike. Yeah. He was a very nasty cop at first. At first, super he really cranky, bad. and then he became really nice. So we got to talk about off road, and then he was happy. Yeah, that must be his passion is off roading. Now to the wildflower hike. The camera might not do it justice, but we are done with the hike and we were right up there at the tippity top and we went over and down a little bit to get some footage of the lakes. This is gonna be a staple hike for us from now on because it was so awesome. And then this is the lake that we always come to. It's so beautiful. But yeah, we were way up there. Crazy to think about. Today was officially the best day ever in Colorado. As many of you know, my goal was to see a moose. And a local told me once that they never saw one and it's actually very rare. So I always thought, well, maybe I'll never see one since we only come once a year. And we were coming down the mountain after our epic hike, by the way. Those lakes were amazing. The hike was so worth it. We were coming down and I happened to look up and I saw a mom and a baby moose. It made my life Crazy. just I've never seen one in a while. incredible. I cannot believe I got to see a mom and a baby moose. So today was incredible and we all got sunburn. You probably can't see too well, but cause I think there's a blemishing mode on this camera, but every single one of us got sunburn. Um, and now we are home fueling up with our Colorado spaghetti, Michael and I. We kind of came up with this recipe here in Colorado. So it's very special. We make it every time. And I have my pasta shirt on. I already got it stained of course, but we have some yummy spaghetti over here. Spicy meatballs, spicy sauce. I add spicy sausage in the sauce. Then Maddie made an epic Caesar salad. Look how gorgeous that is. And then we have some fresh watermelon over there. So this is gonna be a great meal after our huge awesome day. Good morning from Mystic Falls. This waterfall is so awesome. It's ginormous. I can't really get the best shot here because it is unbelievably sketchy, but it is huge. It goes way down there. You guys can see I think right there how far down it is. And we have done this hike before where you go the whole way around and then you climb down to the bottom and you can see the view from the bottom and it is insane because there's a whole nother level to this waterfall. It's very gorgeous. We had a local tell us about it two years ago and they said it's like a hidden gem. A lot of people don't know about it. Last time we came here, we weren't able to get up to the waterfall. It was like way too sketchy. We couldn't figure out a trail and here like there was a trail that we didn't even see, but Mike did 
like climb up the water and everything. So he got a view, but we never got to see this. So look how insane Mystic Falls is at the bottom. The view is just insane. Oh, it's so stunning. We take a very hard way. We have to cross on the top, come all the way down, cross again. Turns out I think there's a trail that comes right down this hill and goes up to the parking lot that we're in. We know better for next time. We had a wonderful morning hike at Mystic Falls. Now we're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're gonna come back, get the girls, and take them for a little walk by the river that goes through Telluride. here in the village uh, bear got a hold of some trash and dragged it the whole way up these stairs so the boys are cleaning it up we just saw two people a very nice couple they've been coming here for 10 years vacationing and they said they were walking up here last night to come home from dinner and it was 10 30 at night pitch black and they saw the bear themselves. But they said it was really awesome because they've been dying to see a bear, so they got, they got a little bit of excitement last night. Today was another amazing day, and you guys won't believe it, we got to see three more moose. And I'm just shocked by that because like I said earlier in this video, I heard a local say before that it is so unbelievably rare to see them, and I just thought I never would see them. So we saw the mom and the baby the other day, and then today we saw a mom with two babies. I can't believe it. And I feel like that's extremely rare to see two babies. So she had twins, I guess. And it was just so cool. So next up on the list is to see a male moose. I cannot wait for that day where we see the huge antlers. It's gonna be so awesome. Cause I know one day we will be lucky enough to see that. So yeah, today was amazing. I think this trip was the best one yet coming here. I mean, Small every year. Days. What did you say? 12 days. 12 days. Yeah, this is our longest time ever being here. Normally we do seven days Five or less. Six. Yeah, I don't think we've actually ever even been here for a whole week. So this was our longest trip here. It was absolutely fantastic. And like I said, every year it just gets better and better. And this year took, is it took the cake, I think is the saying? Oh yeah. Took the cake? Took the cake. Because it was just the best with the moose. And basically like our whole family was here. So it was really awesome to have such a huge group and two houses. It's insane that yeah, we right got to be in that house as well. So I'm gonna close off the vlog here just to soak up the last few days here. Really enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.